one of the ways to encourage sustainability in a health system is to engage the private sector. Our theory is that if you take the people who could afford to get their care in the private sector out of the public sector, then it allows the resources available for the people who, who won't ever really be able to afford the private sector to be better focused and targeted and take some of the burden off of the government. The flip side has to be that the private sector has to be able to offer care that is affordable and quality. We're encouraging dialogue between investment organizations and entrepreneurs, the cross-fertilization between entrepreneurs. There's a lot of innovation in this country, but the problem with that innovation is that it doesn't meet capital. A lot of the innovation that has been happening has died because there was nothing to nurture it. There was no capital flow to it. If you look at the banking sector here, it has been very reluctant to put money to the health sector. The main goal of the Health Enterprise Fund is to identify innovative enterprises that may not quite be ready for uh, investment, but that show promise, show opportunity, and with the right kind of uh, capital injection through the grants that we're providing, with the right kind of technical assistance, we can take those enterprises to a point where they're more ready for investment. With 1,000 to 2,000 Kenyan shillings. It's great to be here. I got here very early in the morning just to feel the energy of the investors coming in, the fellow entrepreneurs that are going to be here, the small providers. This morning when I looked at the, the brochure of all the different companies and all the different entrepreneurs, it was a little daunting to see all the amazing ideas that are going on. But at the same time, it feels really kind of an honor to be part of that community. Shops is a global project. And one of our mandates is to help build knowledge and to share evidence around what works with private sector health programming in HIV AIDS, family planning, child health, and maternal health. Through events like today, we're continuing to build evidence on what is really out there, what's working, how do we scale up these small businesses, and what support do they need? So Imara Healthcare now needs some investment support. What you need basically is to expand this facility. The SHOPS project seeks to increase the role of the private sector in health service delivery. Some just need some assistance in terms of skill, some just need some assistance in terms of organization, but what has struck me most is that they understand the need and they have the solutions. From micro insurance to clinics to diagnostics to sanitary pads, so it's been a, a really rich mix of um, different people. They clearly understand what they are talking about. Um, so very impressed with the quality of the innovators. My name is Lilian Simu like you've had. I work with a private equity fund called Business Partners International. We are based here in Nairobi. I couldn't help but feel sitting at the back of the room and listening to the, the investors speak that if I was an innovator I would think wow at least there is opportunity. We are going to have a panel discussion. From the panel discussion I have seen that people are very much interested to work with private sectors to work together with equity. I learned that there are a group of investors that are interested in impacts as well, not just financial return. So now we want to move on to the next step and this is the expo. Hello. I think the best part of the day for me was the expo, walking around, seeing everyone's innovations. I think one of the greatest benefits that any participant can take from this experience is just being able to interact with you know, fellow participants and be able to get value out of what their experience has been. Getting ideas from other people, getting to talk to other people, getting to think about how other people are addressing some of the problems we all are facing on the ground, trying to provide um, affordable, high quality health care to the masses. We work on our partnerships. In yes. There seems to be a lot of information sharing, which is essential in, I think, getting any of these businesses off the ground. You have to be able to talk to other like-minded people to be able to be successful. Yeah, thank you very much. We are looking for that great idea that is transformative. I believe that's why we are seated here. We're uncovering a lot of activity and a lot of uh, really good work that wasn't widely known or wasn't widely publicized. Projects are there, 
it really is now the onus is a little bit on us as investors to find ways of reaching those people and reaching those those entrepreneurs because they are there and that's one of the things that today has proved to me if we can help remove some of the hesitancy or the sort of the risk involved in investing in private sector health there's going to be huge growth in strengthening the role of the private health sector in delivering priority health services and helping to achieve health outcomes. Private sector investment in this case will have an impact. Projects like shops have gone out of their way to create the environment to make it possible for us to thrive. We are all having one big dream, which is to give affordable health care. I claim myself that I am a social entrepreneur. In 2008, I just jumped to the market buying three ambulances after I mortgaged my house. Getting this type of opportunity really motivates you and certifies you that you are in the right track. I am inspired, I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank you very much.